Hi everyone, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio here. Uh, today's video is going to be on how to repair a broken bayonet. Um, this is one of the um, curses perhaps of uh, miniature wargaming is uh, fragile things will break. Um, and although you can leave bayonets off um, weapons, um, if you have a unit full of troops with bayonets and there's one guy who's forgotten one the visual uh, appearance annoys me a wee bit so we'll have a look at uh, repairing um, a broken bayonet uh, and we'll also look at what to do when you have no bayonet at all um, it's broken it's lost and how can you create a new one um, so we'll start with uh, repairing uh, a model with a broken bayonet have the the piece is here um, always a good idea just to, to line up and check that you've got the, the right part and it, it goes back on okay and we're fine there. Um, what I'm going to do is use my uh, pin vise or hand drill and we'll make a hole in both the barrel of the musket essentially um, and then in the body of the bayonet. So, made our hole there, a couple of millimetres deep. Check the orientation um, of the musket to match a complete model. Let's so see where the bayonet's supposed to go. And we'll drill a hole in that as well. Um, this is a, a one millimetre um, drill bit. The surface isn't all that smooth. Use a file to take that down. And we've got our hole in the bayonet as well. Now we'll need to pin these um, with some wire. So one of the simplest ways to get a bit of wire is to take a paper clip. Um, this one has a plastic coating um, so we'll lose that. Let's just see how much we're going to need. couple of millimetres should be plenty. So we'll use some super glue to secure the pin into the bayonet. So with the pin secured with some super glue, we'll put this bayonet back on. wait for the glue to dry. So that's our bayonet uh, repaired. There is a small gap just in there um, and with a bit of modeling putty we can fill that. So that was how to repair a broken bayonet. What if the bayonet is missing entirely? As before, um, I have drilled out the um, end of the musket barrel. With a complete model, I'm just going to check the length of the bayonet against some wire here with a little bit of excess for going inside the, the musket barrel. Now the bayonet is not going to be um, completely straight out the end. You need to have it offset slightly. So we'll put in a couple of little bends just by holding it in the beaks. So slight bend there, 
and we're just going to take the tip and bend that back away a little. And then we're going to need to create the blade of the bayonet um, with some modeling putty. Um, green stuff, uh, milliput, um, I've got Procreate. So we'll see one that I've made earlier. We'll glue that in place shortly. With a little bit of modeling putty down on the plastic tray, just push the cut wire into it. A little bit more putty will just cover over the wire. And we can shape this into a rough bayonet shape. Once putty is dry you have the opportunity to cut and sand it if it's not ideal. And by doing it down on the plastic the other side is going to be completely smooth and flat. Plus it's easier to control if you're only having to work against one side of the putty. But anyway, um, let's take the one we made earlier. Completely flat and smooth on the opposite side. So it's a bit oversized, but that's okay because we can trim that once it's glued in place. And there we have our replacement bayonet. One's painted up and viewed um, from the other side of the battlefield. No one will ever know. So fixing bayonets, um, it's a fiddly activity. Um, it needs practice. Um, but learning some skills with um, a pin vise to drill holes um, is useful, um, not just for repairing models, but also um, when building um, bigger kits, especially metal ones, um, to be able to reinforce joints um, between components with a, a metal pin um, will make them far uh, less likely to fall to pieces uh, through gaming use um, or if they're dropped on the floor. Um, putty uh, can serve a a lot of um, useful uh, tasks. It is good for gap filling, um, conversions as well. If you want to reposition a head and need to um, put on a, a new collar, um, or as I've shown off in previous videos, adding um, patches to clothes and things like that. Um, very useful to individualize your figures. Um, practice makes perfect with all these things. Um, takes a long time to, to get to know the tools, but just have a practice, have a play. If anyone else has got any hints and tips on um, bayonet repair or repairing figures in general, sculpting, uh, please put them in the comments below. Um, hopefully um, video was, was useful to some people. Um, and if you've got anything else to, to say or anything else you might want to see in future, please pop it below and I'll see what I can do. Bye bye.